All right, hopefully this is the last part, because holy. Anyways, Hawks, playoff teams. Hawks going to take A.J. Griffin, really good, uh, you know, good defender. He was really accurate with his three. Like, this dude shot a very high percentage. I, we didn't average a lot of points just because he played with Duke, and there's so many mouths to feed on that team. But when the offense ran through him, I mean, like, he was super efficient. And he's a good defender. Pretty solid. He's a solid defender, you know what I'm saying, which I think fits in perfectly, you know, you want to run Trey. Uh, Usman Dang for the Rockets. I forgot why I put him here, bro. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, just just know he fits. Just know he fits, man. I I really forgot why I put him there. Um, he's a good wing. He's a wing, and he can defend. He's not the best ball handler. That's what it was. He's not the best ball handler, but he can defend. He can get a couple of jumpers here and there. Which I don't. At this point, I don't think you need another score. I think even with Paulo, you have way too many scores, bro. You know, like you need you need other positions to have a good basketball team. You can just put five scores and be like, we're gonna win games. Uh, Oche Abaji going to Kansas, going to the Bulls. I mean, I think they had success with uh, uh, Ayo, Ayo Desumu. I mean, why not take one of these other players that are kind of the little older? They're one of the best players in college. You know what I'm saying? So I think they take I, uh, Oche again. They don't really need a point guard. You have Lonzo. I mean, I think also I think if Levine leaves, that's like the biggest thing. Because you've built this team for the last year or two years. You know, you get Bucevic. You you resign. I don't think they didn't resign with, but you, you give Vucevic. You you sign uh, Lonzo. You trade for Demar, or sign Demar, whatever. You get Ask Caruso. Like you make all these moves to become a competent team, and then who you built it around leaves would be so stupid. And if they if he does leave, I think Obaji can not be Levine, but he's he he can be Levine. Okay, I'm I'm gonna leave it at that. Temple need another guard. Uh, they need a better point guard, like an actual point guard. I think Kenny Chandler is like that. I think Kenny Chandler can come in and not the mentality, but like literal, literal on-court production, I think can produce the same as Patrick Beverly as soon as he comes in. He's definitely undersized, but he can he can hit some shots. Um, He's probably my favorite guard. I mean, the only thing is like size is just, he's small. I don't think this dude's going to last terribly long, but I do like Kenny Chandler. I think it's a good fit. Uh, Spurs need some more athletic bigs. EJ Liddell has moved up, boys. One of my favorite college players for Ohio State, beast. I this is like a second round dude beginning of the year, and he's he's flown up boards, which is really good. So I Spurs, in my opinion, Spurs have so many draft picks. The the Spurs could dominate this draft, but EJ Liddell is a good player. I like him, he's a really good post player. He can pass out of the post, and he's like he's athletic. He's a little undersized. I think he's like six nine, six ten. So Nikola Jovic to the Nuggets. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The only reason is because the Nuggets like. I don't even got to explain this one. There's no explanation needed. The Nuggets like international players. But so does Spurs. I mean, shit. The, the, those two could be switched. These two could be switched. But Nikola Jovic going there. This is my favorite pick. I'm lying. I've said it like four times. But Jaden Hardy to the Grizzlies. Oh, my gosh. That would be so dear. Really good score. Can shoot the ball. Um, And with a young team. I mean, and he's played against the – I like players that play G League Unite because they're playing pro competition, and it's right there. You know what I'm saying? Like you're playing pro guys, um. So like I like I mean any G League player, anybody who's come to G League recently, I don't think there's been any like flops from the G League unite. So I really like the idea. You know what I'm saying? I mean Jalen Green struggled at first, but I mean you saw him pick it up. So Jaden Hardy, I think, kind of, you know, he can be a really efficient scorer and he can shoot too. You know, if you put Bain and Hardy, I mean, sheesh. Uh, three. This is really interesting with the Nets. There's so many different things they could do. Um. Number one, you have to focus on what I think is super difficult is like if you're the net. I think this page is gonna tell a lot about the Nets' future, um, because if Kyrie leaves, if Kyrie and KD leave, first of all, they're gonna have a lot more draft picks. I know that much. I know that for sure. They're not gonna be just twenty three. But let's just let's just act like they do have this pick. Um, if Kyrie stays, if KD stays, or maybe you can get somebody to replace Kyrie and still run because you still have Ben Simmons. Dang, it's tough, but I think Juzang, you need someone that can create their own shot. That's what you need. You need that production from somebody else. That's not KD or Kyrie. Ben Simmons can create opportunity, but I don't think he can create his own shot. So I think the best score in this, the most NBA-ready score, is Johnny Juzang. And I really like his game. I think that's that's a perfect fit. But I also think they could go with my guy Jalen Williams right here. He's like a point center, and he's a good defender as a center. Lob threat. I think they could go him. Definitely would be upgrading to Claxton, but and they already have Drummond, so interesting. I think it's very interesting. They could go Juzang. They could go Jalen Williams. Uh, this I think is another good fit. J Caleb Houston, good shooter, three and basically just a year prototypical three and D guy, which is what the Bucks need. You know what I'm saying? I think they're running Wesley Matthews at three. 
uh, Michael Foster, another athletic. Like I said, the Spurs could dominate it. Out, out the G League, like the Unite players. Out the G League, uh, you know, good passer. I think the only thing he can't, he can't shoot. He's not a really good shooter. He can dominate the low post. Um, so that's really good and great defender. He's a good size to him, good strength to him. But, hey, that's what they kind of need right now. Uh, the Mavs, Dalen Terry, like I said, another another guard that's better than – like, like I, I can't – he's a uber-athletic guard, and he's 6'7". Like, you think Jalen – like, oh, my gosh. I don't know how to explain. He's like your typical AAU – like, he's so big. Like, Jalen Hands, do you all remember him? Like, this dude, Dalen Terry, is a beast. Um, and I think if you're going to let Brunson go, which I don't know if – I don't know if you should. I don't think you should. I'm not going to lie. I don't care. I don't think you should let Brunson – I don't know. Maybe you do let Brunson go. I don't know. I'm a GM. It's it's a really risky, but I think if you do let him go, Dalen Terry, you need another guard, athletic guard. I, I'm not going to – I don't think he's going to be as nearly as good, but I think, like, you got to change the play style for Luka to win. But you definitely need someone to get the ball in Luka's hand. I think Dalen Terry is just so athletic and so dynamic that, like, he can make things happen. I, for, I forgot who it was, but it was like – it's another young guard. It it might be quickly or someone like that, but it's like they just make things happen. Whether it be good or it be bad, they make things happen. That is Dalen Terry. You know what I'm saying? And you just need that. You just need that kind of dynamic. Because when he's good, he's really good. And I promise you, the map is going to be so, super deadly. Uh, Blake Wesley is like the same as Dalen Terry. In terms of like just being uber uber athletic, but he is a way better scorer. He, but Blake Wesley is a great scorer. Okay, one of the best in this class, like just pure scoring. But he's a super athletic guy. Can hit the three. Can finish. Uh, plays defense. You know what I'm saying? He's a. I think he's a sophomore. But like, if you gotta watch anybody highlights, bro, watch Dalen Terry. Watch Blake Wesley. Those guys are studs. Uh, then probably my favorite player, one of my favorite players, Jalen Williams to the Warriors. Kind of like the, he can just play a Draymond Green role, like. He just, if you, like, that's kind of the role he played for Argon. Like, he just does everything. He needs to score. He can score. He can definitely play defense. He's a good passer. He runs the break. I'm pretty sure you saw, but he, like, led the the, the country in charges taken. Like, Jalen Williams under Draymond Green would learn so much. And I think you need to start thinking about the future. That is, I know they just want to chip, but Jalen Williams there. Grizzlies, Um, I kind of just BS these last two. Walker Kessler is a big, really good go- really good center. I think I think this is where Walker Kessler will be taken, like late first, early second. Um, and I mean, their bigs are looking like Stephen Adams, who's not that mobile. Walker Kessler can move and he can block a lot of shots. I mean, he was playing up there with Jabari Smith, so that tells you all you didn't really know. Offensively, he's pretty solid too. Uh, Thirty Patrick Bowen Jr. So this is actually the Suns pick. It's not the Suns pick. It's the Nuggets pick. Um, somebody got to take a chance on Patrick Bowen. That's all I'm gonna say. That's like the only reason I took him here. Somebody got to take a chance on him. this dude's like top five, top ten going in. Somebody got to take a chance on, bro. So that's my thing. Those are my picks. Those are my, uh, that's my draft, hopefully. So just a quick review. Okay, Jabari, Chet, Bancaro, Kings trade Knicks, Knicks draft Ivy, or Kings take Keegan Murray. Okay, Shaden, or this pick is traded to the Suns. Jada Ivy, six. Duran, seven. This pick is traded to OKC. Uh, if Shaden doesn't go, Jalen Williams, steal. The better Jalen Williams, by the way, steal. Dyson Daniels, another steal. Mathurin, great. Ty Ty sucks. Won't, won't be anything. This Well, first of all, this pick will be the, the, the Kings who pick uh, Eason. Who pick Eason, I'm assuming, or like Houston. Four, three, three guard. Uh, or Branham. 12, OKC trades up. They draft Shaden. Trailblazers are here. They draft. I didn't even think about who they would draft here. I'm not gonna lie. Um, bro, I have no idea. I didn't even think about who they would draft here. Damn, who would who would Portland draft back here? The board would be so shaken up. Uh, if Benedict Mathurin would still be on the board, definitely him. Um, but probably more of like a Griffin. Beautiful. Yeah, they take Griffin here or Branham. Too. They can still take Branham here too. Uh, Thirteen Hornets take. Mark Williams. If there was any pick I'm a thousand percent confident on, is literally the Hornets taking Mark Williams. Like I and Eason. Like I said, Eason going to Cavs. Cavs, great defender there. Johnny Davis goes to Houston. Houston Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets, what I meant to say. Uh Griffin Hawks playoff team. Dang. Rockets. Oche Abaji, Bulls. Kenny Chandler. Timberwolves. Basically Patrick Beverly, but better. EJ Liddell. Demon. 
uh, Jovic. I don't know. Yeah, I just went through the rest. Um, I'm going to do accolades real quick. I'm going to say the biggest steal I have on this board, I think, is either Jalen Williams. I can't even really call Jalen Williams at eight a steal just because it's at eight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's pretty early. Like, who would he drop past? Like, I'm not going to lie. I can't. Like, the only players I would realistically be like, okay, you should take Jalen Williams over said person would be, like, Keegan Murray, Ivy, or Duran. So I can't really call it, like, a steal, steal. But steal, Dyson Daniels, steal as well. And then um, Jaden Hardy at 22, would I'd probably point to, like, be, like, my my biggest steal if there was any. Jaden Hardy. The thing is, he's not going to put up crazy – because, I mean, after John Moran, it's like, who was that second option? That was Dylan Brooks, but he sucks. It's like Jaron Jackson is not that great of an offensive player. He's kind of like a bam out of bio, but more athletic and less stronger, not as strong. So Jaden Hardy. So those are my two. Those are my steals, right? Bust. My biggest bust because I didn't really draft me bust potential guy. I drafted guys I thought it would fit well. Um, Patrick Baldwin. He's like I said, he's literally on here just because I feel like somebody has to take a chance on him. Like somebody just has to. You know what I'm saying? He's like Michael Porter Jr. You know what I mean? I don't know. A biggest bust, I think, just because he's number one, I think could be Jabari. Just because he's number one, right? Like, I think if he could be a really bust in Orlando. This dude could end up averaging like 13 and 7 for the rest of his career. Um, Keegan Murray, Jaden Ivey. Those would be my three, like, bust potentials. If I had to give a defensive rookie of the year out of them, I'd think either Chet. Chet, Dyson, or Eason. Those would be my three for defensive rookie of the year if there was any. Um, rookie of the year, straight up. Oh, that's tough. Rookie of the year, straight up. I mean, you have to think about, like, opportunity, too. I think it's. I think it would definitely probably be Shaden on the Pistons. I think this has to be opportunity, and it's like, Cade, I would like literally, I'm thinking like Cade, Miles Bridges, and Shaden. Like, I think Shaden would have the, the rookie of the year, or maybe somebody like Chet, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, that's my draft, and uh, yeah.